TJ Reid takes the pass but fires it away to the right hand side and misses the opportunity of getting a second point in the space of about three minutes yeah great passage to play I think there you know no score at the end of it but you saw Fergal Moore winning a great ball here's James Regan there now and lovely hook coming in there but just great great passage to play uh, Paul Murphy dispossessed David Burke he could have been in on goal and ball up and down the field but again the pressure on the Kenny forwards and a bad wide by TJ Reid those close up pictures are absolutely brilliant really get to see what's happening down there in the thick of the action as Niall Burke goes racing through Booth Hughes the referee has indicated free in Tommy Welch is having a look at the referee and uh, pleadingly indicating that he doesn't think it should have been a free I think he dived in here if you watch here he came across in under him you know he was going for the ball but again you know, I'd say he knew what he was doing there and marginal call but Barry Kelly has given it to Galway and a, an easy free for Joe Canning this time He's got a goal and three so far. Two of the points coming from Freeze. This one's about 30 metres out. Shouldn't be any trouble, and isn't. And everything going to plan so far for Joe Canning, for Galway, for the team manager, Anthony Cunningham. They lead by 1-6 to three points. And unusually, Ger Brian Hogan's in big trouble at centre-back. You know, Niall Burke is causing him havoc when he's running off the ball, and a lot of ball coming through there. Tommy Walsh is isolated in at full-back. So this famous half-back line that you know, set up so many attacks, they're completely out of the game, and brilliant by Galway. They're very, very happy to have Tommy Walsh in at full-back, Mark and Cyril Donlan suits him down for the ground. Yeah, with the positioning, Galway have actually won the, the, the mind game here because Kilkenny have been forced to reposition. Well, you have a half-back line of Paul Murphy, Brian Hogan and Jackie Turles, the two cornerbacks are at wing-back, and both Kieran Joyce and Tommy Walsh going over the half-back line. And look at the eagerness with which Andy Smith went after that to get there ahead of Michael Fennelly, who was expected to exert a big physical influence in midfield, and it hasn't materialised so far. What has materialised is that Galway are setting up chances. Smith again. This time it's Niall Donoghue, and Donoghue hits a beauty! First ever time to score in the championship. 21-year-old Niall Donoghue from Kilbacon T gets his first point and makes it 1-7 to three points. Well, this guy has had a brilliant year for me. He's, he's been outstanding in every game. And the composure there for a young player on the ball, maybe thought he was going to be hooked the first time, took it back on the stick and then straight over the bar. There was a push there. And it's uh, going to be a free against Kilkenny. And their discipline letting them down here. I think we will see at Sir Latanian that's... Uh, on the ground right now once again requiring some attention he was in the wars earlier on Dan Murphy the team doctor is out to attend to him and uh, also the physio there Jerry O'Reilly there was a push as I saw it as the ball was in the air and the referee saw that and immediately blew against Kilkenny and I can see there it was uh, Aidan Fogarty coming in right over the top uh, pushed his helmet down over his face and uh, definitely a free to Galway I know Kilkenny are trying to work their way into this game and they're eager to try and get possession, set up opportunities, but they've got to retain their composure, their discipline. There's a long, long way to go in this All-Ireland final. And as you said earlier, Joe, Joe Kenny not coming out this time, Tony O'Gregan taking this, and you know, hopefully he doesn't poke it wide from out there. If he lets it in around the square, you know, there's danger there. From inside his own 65. Oh, he's gone for it. And Really, I thought he was going to try and lob it into the square. Yeah, well, if you're going to go for a score, Joe Cannon is the man. You know, he's the most accurate player. He can get the distance, but if he was going to stay in there. You have to be lobbing the ball in there. So, Well, that counts as a misjudgment on the part of Tony O'Gregan. Don't forget that uh, tonight we have the Sunday game programme, 9.30. A big, big special programme with Des Cahill and the panel. We'll be at the Victor's Hotel. But which hotel will it be? Will it be the Galway Hotel? Will it be Kilkenny's? 9.30, Sunday game. Right now. It's Kilkenny who are trying to work themselves back into it with Owen Larkin. Lovely, stylish play. Eased his way into the shot there. Got the point. Always a potential match winner, Owen Larkin. The 28-year-old from James Stevens here. Glided that one over the bar. And now it's 1-7 to four points. Yeah, good score there. Henry, you know, Tony O'Gregan out in front of Henry Shefflin, but he miscontrolled the ball. And once Henry Gary played a low, good low ball inside and a good finish. But, you know, Kilkenny are just living off scraps at the moment. Galway are all over them. I think Kilkenny will be happy enough only to be six points behind. Well, a temporary substitution is going to have to be made with Kevin Hines having to come off. And Anthony Cunningham is going to have to replace him very quickly. They haven't uh, decided exactly who's going to come on just yet. It's a blood, it's a blood but he looks very, very groggy though, Jerry. You'll have to say, 
You can see he's, it looks like a, a jaw, a serious injury there under his eye. Doesn't look nice at all for Kevin Hines, the former under-21 captain here against uh, Galway some years ago. And this is Joseph Cooney. His dad, Joe, was out on the field earlier on. One of the greatest Galway players ever from that 1988 team. Good to see his son get an opportunity, but uh, shame it should be at the expense of Kevin Hines. But he's on as a temporary sub right now. And here once again come Galway and Damien Hayes with a chinking run. Down he went and Kilkenny this time. I've seen a yellow card issued to uh, one of their players. JJ Delaney got it, yeah. And lovely jink and run by Damien Hayes. And he took a heavy knock to head, a definite yellow card. And Jed, just lovely sidestep here if you watch it. Just went around him and strike, strike down the shoulder there. And David Collins got in full back, he has experience there. But Damien Hayes again, great awareness. He knew he was going to be hooked and he took on his man. Well, we know that Kilkenny in the Leinster final, Michael, did really well in the second half, but they don't want to leave themselves a big gap to try and uh, claw back in the second 35 minutes. Well, they don't want it, Ger, but they have no the choice bar. because Galway are just dominating this game. And, you know, at the moment, Kilkenny are, are struggling for ideas, they're struggling to win possession from the puckouts. Uh, Galway are picking up all the breaking ball and they're constantly on the move up front. And great work rate from everyone on the team. So, very, very solid performance by Galway so far. Absolutely. As reaching up for that one was David. Collins went to ground at the end of it, ball out over the sideline. And the linesman, Hugh McCurwin from Cork, decides that it's going to be a Galway ball, much to the annoyance there of some of the Kilkenny players. 31, nearly 32 minutes gone. And most people said it had to be Kilkenny. It simply had to be Kilkenny. Yeah, well, look at it, a long, long way to go. Kevin Hines back on there now and you know, that looked like a, a nasty injury, but he's a tough bit of stuff, and he's straight back into the action. Back in at number three. Cut up well here by Fergal Moore. Comes down off David Burke. Intercepted by Jackie Tyrrell, former All-Ireland winning captain. Tommy Welch sends it in once again towards Aidan Fogarty. Hasn't really got on the ball very much so far. Instead, it's been the very efficient Galway defence. This time, David Collins deemed to have taken too many steps. Harsh enough call, free in for Kilkenny, they'll take anything that is going and Henry Shefflin will come and take the resultant free. Yeah, he did take too many steps. He did, he took a few going yep. back and then turned coming out. But you could even see Tommy Welch on that last ball, you know, he was a little bit jittery and that's what I'd say about Kilkenny, they're just not settling into the game, they're not being allowed because the constant pace and movement of Galway is troubling them. And, you know, they're seven points behind, this is a huge free now and he's scored a lot of them in his time, but this is vital. And that one is uh, inside the right hand upright and a second pointed free by Henry Shefflin. I can only help, I can't help feeling really, Michael, but the, the loss to Galway nine weeks ago has deeply affected these Kilkenny players. They're not as confident as they usually are. Yeah, very, very heavy knock there by Kevin Hines. Colin Finley coming across, in fairness, all eyes on the ball, uh, but Kevin Hines took a very, very heavy knock. James Skehill then with the two additional minutes about to be played at the end of the opening 35. Right now we're watching Brian Hogan a buccaneering run through the centre. His uh, progress halted, it's going to be a free in, and now Galway are going to be penalised for the futility of that, trying to prevent a quick free being taken by Henry Shefflin. And this free now is just outside the 45 metre line. Yeah, well, I think Henry was playing for that. He he barged into our early Tanyan, if you ask me, and uh, he was playing to get that extra 10 yards. Well, they got it. And Henry Shefflin, who's always been a winner and wants to be a winner this afternoon, has now got three pointed frees, and there are five between them. One eight to six points as we head into the last minute of the opening 35 of regulation time. And you can see the urgency there of Henry Shefflin, you know, he wants to get on with the play, he wants to try to lift the Kilkenny performance because it has been very, very flat. Well, he's the one player who can probably do that. He never hides in a match, he's always there willing his team on. One of the bravest, most courageous players we've seen in a Kilkenny shirt and also one of the most skillful. Kieran Joyce drives it diagonally across towards Colin Fenley. Hasn't seen anything so far as the... Uh, yeah, that's another, the attack has been well marshalled. Another free in there, Johnny Cohn. I think he's actually, is it Johnny Cohn is calling out? He didn't go for the ball at all there. He, he, he went for the man and Barry Kelly picked it up very, very quickly. And this is three points now, quick succession by Kilkenny. All from freeze if Henry puts this over. And, you know, just that little period come up to half time. Galway just dipped the concentration and straight away Kilkenny back into the game. Yellow card for Johnny Cohen from Loch Ray. Yeah, the Galway crowd are booing there, but I think if you see it again, 
he didn't go for the ball at all. He went straight. I don't know how serious the, the, the contact was, but it was definitely a, a yellow card. So in added time, it's Henry Shefflin ready to repeat his party piece and put it over the bar with his usual aplomb. So he's got four-pointed frees, and those frees have been very important. And Galway now are the ones who are going to have to be disciplined at the back. They know Kilkenny are going to come at them in waves. There are now only four points between the teams. And this time it's uh, Galway's confidence that might well be rocked a little bit. James Skell. Taken beautifully here. This time it's Cyril Donnellan. Hand pass beautifully forward for Andy Smith. Smith raiding, Smith firing. Stuck on the line somehow by David Herity. Couldn't quite get it over. Goalkeeper needs to get the ball away. Being challenged there by David Burke. Frantic challenge, scrambled away somehow. Herity still waiting for a whistle to come, and a whistle finally does come. Yeah, the free picked the ball off the ground there. He lost possession. Great tackling by David Burke. If you just watch it here, going out along here. First of all, Andy Smith, you know, I think Jackie Turley went the wrong side, maybe should try to hook him. But David Hurley did very well, and just watch him here when he's going out long. David Burke just shattered him all the way out here. Never panicked, and I think he lost possession and picked the ball off the ground. And Smith never hit it that terribly well anyway, but uh, David Herity got down, did enough. But now it's Galway, and it's uh, Joe Canning once again from a very, very difficult angle. He's faced some very difficult angles in this match with his freeze so far. Now, can he measure this one and put it inside the right hand upright? He's got it right, and that's an important score now. After Kilkenny's run of points from freeze, that will settle things down for Galway as we head towards half time. And now, once again, there are five points between the teams. You watch her the high ball in, and watch Johnny Cohn nowhere near the ball, straight down on Colin Fenley, and uh, picked up very well by Barry Kelly, who's having a very good game, I'd have to say. He's very, very sharp. And now it's Cohen here on that yellow card, challenged by Colin Fenley. Still managed to get the ball away out of the sideline. Referee looks at his watch and blows for half time. It's half time in the 2012 All Ireland hurling final. And Joe Canning, man of the match so far, with a goal and six points. His goal coming after 10 minutes. Kilkenny have been sluggish. We've seen Owen Larkin get one point. But towards the end there, we saw Henry Shefflin pounce on the mistakes being made by the Galway backs, giving away freeze. Henry got four points. We've lots of analysis to come at half time and uh, a second half to look forward to with uh, Galway, the leaders at the break by five points. And so as the teams head for their dressing rooms, half time score here reads Galway 1 9, Kilkenny 7 points.